That little one right there is like Phoebe at home, you know it? Yeah. Well, what's up, guys? It's Daniel from Arms Family Homestead. And as you can see, I'm back out at the Mill Creek property. Brought the truck and trailer because I'm going to be taking our big pig trap down because, well, the good news is it's been, what, maybe close to three weeks since we last caught a pig here i'm not exactly sure on the date but i have zero game camera pictures of hogs anywhere on this property or at my house on the 110 acres there that's a good problem to have not a lot of pigs moving partially because well there's it's so dry there's no food crop for them really and i'm sure they're just hunkering down staying close to water sources which brings me to why we're gonna take this down and move it. And that's because I am gonna do a little pig trapping right next to my good buddy, Jimmy Houston's private lake. So Jimmy owns like 1500 acres, about, I don't know, five miles from my house, six miles from my house. We've been, the, uh, we've become really good friends with Jimmy over the last couple of years. And uh, Houston and I went down yesterday just to visit with him and Chris and see what all was going on because we hadn't talked to him in a while and uh got to talking about pigs and i said well i don't have i don't have any pigs moving right now um they probably will later in the fall early winter but right now no pig movement he said well you're in luck because we've got lots of pigs hanging out around one of my lakes and uh he's done a lot of pig trapping i've actually got a cousin that's a state trapper that's done a lot of um pig trapping for jimmy over the last couple of years and they've caught a bunch of pigs but according to Jimmy and Apache, the guy that works for him, his farm is a ranch hand, they've got a lot of pigs. So we're gonna take the big pig trap down, move it over to Jimmy's and uh, see if we can catch some pigs there. So I'm gonna take it down and I gotta get Houston picked up from school. He's got a little CrossFit workout this afternoon. And then we're gonna try to get this thing down and set up at Jimmy's house. All right, well, in less than 20 minutes, we're completely torn down and loaded up with the trap and ready to head out. So, like I said, Houston and I went down to Jimmy Houston's yesterday. Well, I'm telling you what, that guy has got some impressive pets. If you guys don't follow Jimmy Houston on social media, uh, many of you probably know who Jimmy is just from watching us or the 40 something years 45 years that he's been on national tv as a professional bass fisherman but so many of you know him because of his pet deer he's got an albino herd of deer now and a buck that is unbelievably big called prince charming plus his normal day-to-day -day wild deer herd that eat out of his hands in his yard dude it's unbelievable so check this out while i go get houston from school Up. Next year, that buck, that guy will be big. He's kind of messed up right now, isn't he? Yeah. I'm laying here with a couple cows. Cool. With one of the two in the pen up there was yeah. Snoopy. He had, he was a three point last year. It's about like that tall. And he's a big 10 point this year. He's narrow, but he's tall and long time. Forest. Forest had an eight, you know, and then this year. 
beat him out of your hands, you pet him, and you, you, you pet him, and, and he... He's a good shooter. You pet him, and he... Uh, uh, Holy moly. Casey's horns are see, so long. See, that broke off. He pulled it out down. He pulled it that, that far below his, his skull. Hot 60. Hmm. That far below his skull. I can feed out six out of my hand now, and and it and it grew back. Uh, well, one side will never grow back. Yeah. Forest, the TC, that big one is. No, it doesn't go around your waist. <laughs> Put it on one shoulder. <laughs> Got a bag full of carrots. Yeah, a bag full. See if you can get old Prince Charming to come over here and eat one. I want to see him eat out of your hand. This is it for you. That little one right there is like Phoebe at home, you know it? Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> I touched his horn. If you're wondering what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get a piece of velvet. I'm not grabbing it. Be See? careful. He'll yeah. twist his head and hurt your hand. <laughs> so, he's, he's, he's like one of our baby donkeys at home. He, he DJ's does. got them so spoiled, they, yeah, they won't get off under your feet. He doesn't really, uh, he, he's not really bad about strangers and stuff. He knows that little girl, she was uh, like strange. You love me. I'm so close every time. That's true, Pete. That's, I, that's, that's kind of hard. I actually, it's kind of hard. I actually have reached through there and <laughs> it's just right when it's right there. Oh my. <laughs> hey, Casper. There you go, buddy. What's that? You name? bite them in two and give them to the babies. That's what I do. I bite them in two and give, give them to the little ones. Just throw them over there to him. Got a piece. The only, the only thing Excited. is, if you, there you go, a little tiny piece. Yeah. You can get Why? It. It's not like a normal velvet. Yep. Yeah. I mean, he's an albino deer, so. Yeah. <laughs> She's a good hold of it. Huh. I'm it's, just afraid it's he's going to. Well, yeah. it's, it's not going to hurt you, though. Gonna... Look at this. Jimmy turned the albino deer out into the new deer pen. For the first time, these deer, these four albinos have, have never actually been anywhere except this little small pen. Look at them running and jumping. Just like DJ's baby donkeys.
Once the big one started running, boy, they ran and they, they just had a ball. She still wanted to run. Yeah, she still wanted to run. I'd love to be able to just turn them loose on this ranch. And I will do that, but I need to get a few more of them before I do. Because when you turn them loose, it might be the last you see them alive. So, uh, how was CrossFit today? Uh, CrossFit. You like it? Yeah. You enjoy it? Yeah. It's pretty tough though, isn't it? Yeah. And it's crazy how, uh, how low Jimmy's Lake is. Here's this boat ramp he built, I don't know, last year or the year before. And usually the boat ramp is way underwater. And you can see... Gosh, that's, that's the end of the boat ramp right there at the weeds. So typically, the water line's about, about right here where Houston and I are standing. And uh, huh, I don't know. We'll ask Jimmy how low it is elevation-wise, but uh, it's way down. But I can see where pigs are rooting in the mud right here. And as dry as it's been, it only makes sense to put the trap right here next to the water. Yeah. You know what? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> there he is. What'd you tell me this is boar master? Pig trap. A big pig trap. Well, that was pretty simple. I was trying to make it complicated, wasn't it? A big pig trap. The other one I was talking about is called a boar buster. A boar buster. Okay, this is a big pig trap. Big pig trap. Big pig trap. Put one of those rods, those poles in those. Houston, I tell you, you've got to be pretty strong and helpful, man. Thanks. That's right. Yeah, you got. I was talking when I grow, drove up there about. Uh, about you know, you when you're five or six years old, had that curly hair. Because you got your little mullet going right that night now, it looks like. We're working on the mullet. You trying to get a mullet like mine? Uh, kind of. <laughs> it doesn't seem right. I kind of I bet, bet that your mullet looks a lot better than mine. <laughs> mine doesn't have very much hair in it, it's a problem. There's no hair growing on top. All the hair growing on top is leaving. Well, it's kind of like a... You know, migrating to another country or something. I don't know what it's done. <laughs> you got a you got a ways to go to catch up with me, though. But I imagine yours grows pretty fast. Apache is bringing the uh, the uh, post driver. I just need to drive one T post to hang the camera on, and I didn't even. Because this is this sets up, and don't you drive those into the ground too? Nope. nope. Well, this is an easy setup, man. Um, they did just all bolt together. The link gotta have them so that it can raise up in the air. Yeah. That's pretty handy to set that little guy up, isn't it? Yeah, it's there's I might it's have to simple. I might have to have me one of these. It's, this is uh, this is cool. It's awesome the way it works. Let me grab some tools. This is this is cool. This is really, really cool. You caught every trap on your property you believe. We've caught every pig that we've got on trail camp. Every one that you saw. You caught every one you saw. Yep. I just about bet you got more. But there'll probably be more show up. Yeah, they will. 80 acres, you know, you're going to have one. Isn't that what you got, 80? Well, there's 80 at one place and then 110 at the house. So. Oh, yeah. Do you think you caught them all at your house, too? I haven't seen one on camera in forever, but... Really? Um, good. Ah, that is a neat trap. Man, that's a neat trap. Golly. I like it because it's not so huge. Yep. Yeah.
Yeah, it goes up really quick. There's not a whole lot to it. It's fairly simple. Um, we'll put the cross braces on and lift it up and show you how it works. They can jump pretty high, so you got this on there to keep them from jumping. They'll they'll run and jump and hit their nose here, you know, because they try to jump the edge. Nope. Yeah, the pigs might not have been called that way for, for but we are, we are called pigs because they emulate the pigs. Yeah. <laughs> you have enough? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're done. All right, we had a little problem there because our circle was not square, yeah. <laughs> as Daniel said. And I said, your circle was not square. Now, that uh, that's definitely a redneck statement right there. My circle was not square. But we managed to get it out there, and uh, this is the winch that's going to lift it up off the ground. Pull that cable a little bit, Houston. Not for movement of humans, it says. That pretty much leaves us out. We can move, use it to move us without a problem. Nope. Hang on, I gotta put this cable on the other side. Up we go. All right. Now we're gonna go up right here. Is it pretty heavy? Hard to turn or not? A little bit, huh? Is it pretty pretty hard to turn there? Uh, a little bit. It's a little heavy. Lift all the weight. Yeah, that's quite a bit of weight there, actually. No, it will fall hard. Because things do happen that's not supposed to happen. Yeah. Actually, go. Daniel, you you left, left last night, but we got that safe put in place perfectly. Oh, did you? I mean, and drove the tractor in there with it. The oh, tractor picked it up and we drove it. Yeah, I lifted oh, it. Good. We drove the tractor all the way in, set it down, and we put a piece of board and straightened it up, pushed it right back in place with the tractor. So, yeah. We are like almost professional safe movers. Almost. Almost. Not quite. <laughs> Whoa. Can we come out somewhere? I don't know. No, I don't. Legs aren't exactly where we're supposed to be. We're going to get it back in round. <laughs> back square. We'll square up our round. It'll kind of walk around a little bit on you, but. Do you want to move it? Just bump it into the bed. You can't. In the uh, we got to square up the round here. Yeah. So it's got safety pins, but they're easy to forget to take out. Yeah, if you forget to get them, then your pigs not, don't have them too much to worry about, do they? No. Okay. It's a really simple design, but you can tell some country boy put a lot of thought into it. Yep, yep. Country engineer. That probably not might not even be able to spell engineer. I know I can't spell it. <laughs> They're holding them. It won't go anywhere. Now you still got your safety pins in too. I still got to hook up the camera and everything. So. Yeah. So once you do all that, you're going to crawl out of there and hope it don't fall on you, huh? Well, that's why we got the safety pins. <laughs> you take, you're supposed to take safety pins out once you get get it all set up, right? I hear you. Just don't forget. Don't forget to take safety right, pins out. Cool. Camera up. I love it. Never thought we'd see it happen here in America where people couldn't build stuff, couldn't get the parts to build stuff, but it's sure happening. I watched a video last night from a friend of mine. He went to a, uh, a racetrack in Kentucky, mm -hmm. and they had 40,000 Super D Ford pickups sitting at a racetrack. They couldn't, couldn't, get, couldn't get chips for them. They're talking about crushing them. Right there. What? They're actually talking about crushing those new Ford pickups oh my God. because they got new models coming out. Well, yeah, that was kind of what I was wondering. But you know, there's a bunch of us out here that if they'd tell us, you know, this has no warranty on it, it has nothing, you know, you just got to buy it, but it's $20,000, we'd drive up here in a heartbeat and get one, wouldn't we? <laughs> we could find the chips, though. Wouldn't one. matter if it had a chip on it. We'll go chipless. <laughs> the chips are for casinos, right? Patchy, I think, mm -hmm. I think I told you to drive up the wrong way. The wrong way? <laughs> Yeah, we're going to have to... Oh, go. mercy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like the ground's hard right now, no, is it? Not that bad. We use this. That's how we used to take it off. And then just <laughs> that, put that in first was just practice, huh? Yeah. Yeah, there we yeah, go. Hey, you know when you say redneck, that means something's going to go wrong. And it may be a simple thing, like putting that in wrong. Like me learning. You learned right there how to. You learned how to get a T-post out, though, didn't you? 
See, I also learned that I told him to put it in the wrong way. Well, yeah, but you, yeah, but you <laughs> also, you, now, though, right? yeah, yeah, you learned how to get it out too. That was good. The one good thing about that T-post, it's not going to have to have a, a lot of strength to it. The ground's not hard, is it, Apache? No. It's rained 1.9 inches the last five months, so what do we expect? No rain in the forecast. You keep looking a 15 day out and they won't even give you a 20 or 30 percent chance. Horrible. That's so good. It's La Nina. They say it's La Nina. Hog eye cameras. And that's set up specifically for T post. Yeah. They, uh, you're right. They have engineered this thing out pretty good. Yeah, somebody thought long and hard about this thing. Or. They failed a bunch of times. Trial and error, that's the way we do things. Yep. Nothing wrong with that. All right, what are we putting in here, Daniel? Well, this is just a four-way blend that I feed my livestock at home. Uh -huh. And then I had Josh, the guy that kind of taught me how to trap these pigs. That, so he, uh, he's got about nine big pig traps. Well, he's got nine traps. They're not all the big pig brand, but he... Uh, He's, he gave me a bottle of this stuff. It's called Root and Juice. Root and Juice. And uh, it tastes so good. Just try it. Oh Jimmy. no. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried it? Have you tried it? Yeah, try it. Well, let me see you dip your finger in there and take a big old lick of it. It's a it's a molasses. Oh yeah. It well, this one's uh, it looks kind of ugly. Stinky cheese. You know, give us a smell. You want some stinky cheese? I bet we catch a catfish on it. I bet yeah. we put catch catfish on it. We're gonna bet. Smell it. How do you smell it? No, I'm on. I'm on. No, I'm gonna believe that it smells stinky. I know what stinky cheese smells like. There it is. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we are. So when a, I get ready to drop it, there's a patchy hanging button. there by it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we got a picture of you. We're not gonna drop it right now because we just got it hung up and it's sitting on the safety pins. But you just tell it to drop. But you can adjust your camera. It's a really wide angle. Right. Camera, so oh yeah. We look all around. See. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, I Man, try that to put looks it cool. Pretty low to the ground and pretty close yeah. to the trap. So. A lot, of a, people, couple times. a lot of people tell me they use diesel. I've tried diesel and it ain't seemed to be a really big deal. So, oh, I, that looks bad, but good on pancakes. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah, man. We'll save you some if you want some for your pancakes tomorrow, <laughs> yeah, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> so, we'll pull, on you, be hard to get to get out, pull the safety pins out. Pull that one out for us, Houston. Hey, don't reach through it because if that trap drops. All right, so, Jimmy. Um, hopefully we can catch some pigs over here. You should have plenty of pigs to catch. Pigs. So if we don't catch them, it's your fault and mine. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I told everybody yesterday, Houston and I went to the house, and Houston got to see old Prince Charming. Yeah. And Snow White and, and, and yeah. Casper and Ice, the yeah. albino deer. And I noticed the other day, and I just don't want to confuse my audience, but you changed your YouTube channel name and created a new one and so now you've got three a, separate channels we've got three channels catch a better life which is our devotional channel we post a, a scripture a devotional and a fishing tip every day that's catch a better life with jimmy houston and uh that's seven days a week we post them five o'clock in the morning our jimmy houston outdoor channel we simply changed the name to jimmy and chris houston's twin eagle ranch that will simply be a ranch channel It'll be things like us putting up the, the trap here. It'll be the albino deer, the baby deer, the wild deer, the antlers, everything we do on the ranch, running around and doing some of the goofy things and making these stupid mistakes <laughs> like we make. And that, cha that channel's already got hundreds of videos there. That's the right, original old channel. thousands of videos there, and that is the original Jimmy Houston Outdoors channel. It will be ranch stuff only, no fishing on that. Fishing will be on Jimmy Houston Outdoors, so you'll have to go in there and subscribe to Jimmy Houston Outdoors to get the fishing. Right now, there's only six or seven videos up there, but we'll be new videos. I think a new video goes up tonight, and then we'll put probably start out with about three a week, but they'll be all fishing videos. Be the fishing that we do that we're doing right now for next year's television shows. We'll probably do a lot of three and four and five minute little how-to tips about tying knots, how to fish a crankbait in the fall, maybe how to work a topwater bait, all the kind of things to help people catch more fish. That will be fishing. There will be no deer on there, no ranch stuff, just fishing on Jimmy Houston Outdoors. Did I confuse you? Nope. That, that works. <laughs> confuse me. And then the next question, I know 95% of my audience is going to ask. How's Chris? Chris is doing better all the time. She's sitting right over here. I've got her out here riding around in the mule. She's doing better all the time. She still can't walk. 
She still can't cut my hair, as you noticed. So I said, DJ asked me last night, because I was showing her videos yeah. of the deer. She said, what in the world's Jimmy got going on with hair? I said, he said he's not going to cut it until Chris walks. <laughs> and Well, until she can use her right hand. Oh, okay. She can use her left hand. And she told me, she said, I think I can cut it with one hand. And I said, not a chance. <laughs> not a chance. So until she's able to use her right hand. And now I did... You know, it got kind of long and where I couldn't see, so I had to cut some <laughs> off the front where I could see. And then it got kind of long on the sides where I couldn't hear, so I cut some off the sides. But I, I've let the back go. Yeah. So you the back you, you going, and Houston almost have the same haircut now. I tell you what, yeah. I bet Take he, your hat off. Betty catches me. Yeah, I bet he catches his, me. His mullet's growing. Yeah, his mullet's doing good. So I've got a mullet, which I guess is in vogue right now if you're, <laughs> if you're 10 years old or 15 years old or, or if you're an athlete. The athlete's old. Oh, old. yeah. So, uh... I guess I'm an athlete. I guess that's it. Because I'm definitely you're professional. I'm a professional yeah, fisherman. Right? Professional guess not definitely not 12 or 15 years old. So. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I hope everybody's not confused. But uh, the farm channel is going to be great. The fishing channel is going to be great. And catch a better life will do exactly what the the title of the book says. Your life will get better. I looked for the video this morning and it didn't post until this afternoon. I usually watch them early in the morning. About to catch a better life mm -hmm. video. Really? Yeah, I didn't see it can early you, this morning. Can so. I tell you that's Pat's fault, not mine? <laughs> because I, do, I did it. I did the video. It's Pat that posts them. So if it's not posted, blame Pat. Usually they're Please. up there about 6 o'clock in the morning, I think. Five, five, five. It should be at 5 o'clock Central Time. 5 o'clock Central Time. That's right. Where it's not daylight where you are, 5 o'clock Central Time, I know. <laughs> but it's daylight somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got the pig trap set up at Jimmy Houston's yeah. sunset on the lake right here. Man, this lake is a is a special place, and uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. We've caught a lot of we caught a lot of fish out of it yeah. with him. Big bass. Chris and Jimmy Houston are very very special people to us. They're mm -hmm. they're incredible. Jimmy's is as good as gold. And uh, anyways, got the big pig trap set up, and we're gonna see if we can catch some pigs over here because they've been uh, fighting them off for a long time. I mean, when you run, I mean they've got probably 15 1800 acres here all together so that's um, uh there's gonna be a lot of pigs yeah and uh it may take us a few days but i bet you we'll be back and uh have a trap full of pigs soon so yeah so that means you might be seeing some more jimmy's <laughs> that's right i mean one day we might come fishing and then that night when we're fishing maybe we're still here at night there's a hog there yeah we'll see maybe all right, well, man, why don't you wrap this video up so we can drive off this All ranch right. and get out of here and go home and eat supper. I bet mom's got supper ready for us. <laughs> yeah, probably. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, we'll see you on next video. Peace.